Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Frosted Fade and in today's video I'm going to be attempting to make a tropical house song just by following a Kaigo tutorial. So it was last year that Kaigo released this video on YouTube on how he made his song Freedom. So what I'm going to do today is to watch this video and just follow along in my own track exactly what Kaigo does. So obviously this song is going to be nowhere near Kaigo's level of tropical house. Kaigo, if you ever watch this video, just know I apologize in advance for how bad this track's gonna be, but also just hit me up for the collab if you want to. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into this video. So this is a song that Sandro Kavatsa and Zach Abel uh, wrote together. Um, they sent me the, the vocal. Freedom, freedom, freedom I've been looking for. Okay, so the first step is to find a proper vocal. Now after looking about online, this is the vocal that I like. I believe the chorus starts at bar 21 here, so let's give this a listen. Don't make it harder than need be, hopefully you feel much better now, better now. Nice, okay, so that sounds really good. Yeah, we'll always start with the piano. Um, so I'll just play the chords. Okay, so the next step, he just finds out the chords on his piano, so I'm gonna do that right now with this song. Don't make it harder than need be, hopefully you feel much better now, better now. Don't make it harder than need be, hopefully you feel much better now, better now. Okay, so after playing around on the piano, the three chords for the chorus here are A minor, F and C. So I'm going to put those into the project right now. So in the end, these are the piano chords that we came up with. Okie dokie, so next we're going to add some bass as per Kaigo's instructions. Wow, okay, maybe not that. What I think I want to do here is just to have the bass line playing the note and holding it for the entire bar. Okay, bass is done. Next step. Okay, so the next step is to add strings and maybe some sort of pad, it sounds like. Nice, I like that. And then also in this pattern, we're gonna add just some synth strings. This is like down sweep also that comes in with the chorus. Down sweep comes in with the chorus. I actually have that exact same down sweep downloaded already. See this down sweep, the reason I have it is because Kaiko uses it in quite a few of his other songs and I just know that it's one that he uses. It's nice just because it starts loud and goes quiet, which is exactly what a down sweep is meant to do. What well, duh! Some hi-hats, some shaker coming in there. On a second there, uh, some snaps. Hi-hats, shakers and snaps. Let's add it right now. He said that it comes in on the second part, right? So that's going to be over here. Maybe, maybe. <sighs> Don't make it harder than need be. Hopefully, you feel much 
I get to the build up and then I had this melody kind of in my head when I heard this, heard this uh, chorus. It sounds like. Okay, so now we come to the fun part of creating the vocal chop for both the build up and the drop. So we've pretty much done what we want to with the chorus, so we're now going to work on the drop and the build up. Now, vocal chops can be interesting because they either come like that or they take hours. And for me, normally it takes hours. So I'm going to pause the video right now, and when I come back, I will have hopefully an epic vocal chop that you guys can listen to. Many hours later. Okay, so I'm back and after messing around with the vocal chops a little bit, here's what I came up with. Let's give it a listen. Okay, so I'll quickly show you guys how I made these vocal chops. They consist of two different layers. One of them is just this drone in the background. And the other one is this melody that I came up with. So in terms of effects, apart from the essentials like OTT, reverb, some EQ, the other thing I did add was Little Alter Boy, which takes the format down and also up in different parts of this vocal chart. You can hear it. In the first part here, it takes it down, and the second part, it takes it up. Without the format, it sounds like this. And then using the Little Alter Boy formatting, it sounds like this. Okay, so we have our vocal chops. So let's keep moving on with Kaigo's video here. Okay, so we need to work on the chords for the build up and the drop here. For the chords for this drop and build up, I just use the same chords as we had in the chorus. And then I changed the pattern up slightly to give it a bit more of a groove. This is the new chords that we have for the build up and also for the drop. Underneath, um, another one of those these down sweeps. And there's some pretty big uh, claps going here as well. Right. Okay, so it looks like he filters in the piano for the build up, and also adding some shakers and claps in the build up. So I'm going to do that now. Boom. Drop. Okay, let's work on the drop now. Thankfully, we don't have to work on the drop. We just let Kaigo work on the drop and then we'll follow exactly what he does. And then we get to the drop. And obviously the vocal chops still play some drop. The piano chords still going. And there's a guitar coming on drop. It's a little background. We'll take these chords over and the strings over because I kind of like those. And then he adds a guitar, so let's do that right now. Okay, so I've added the guitar and this is what it sounds like. I have one guitar come in on the first part of the drop and then on the second part of the drop, I add a second guitar. Um, I have some hi-hats coming 
pretty cool like bongo thing going in the background as well. Okay, so I just finished the drum pattern for the drop. Here is what it looks like. We have the kick, we have a few snares, a hi-hat on beat with a kick here. And then we have a few shakers and tambourines. And then in the second part, I added a couple of different bongo elements that I thought sounded quite nice. So let's give that a listen. Okay, so this is actually all that Kaigo has in his video for his drop. In my project, I'm gonna do a few more things to add a couple more layers to the piano. I feel like the piano could do with a bit of a larger sound and maybe maybe a couple of synths. I think that might help it out a bit. And also I'm realizing that none of this is actually side-chained yet. So I'm gonna side-chain what needs to be side-chained and then I'm gonna show you guys the final result. So just before I finish this video and we give it a listen, make sure that you guys give this video two thumbs up and if you wanna download this FLP, I will leave that below as well so you guys can look at it. And also if you wanna see the project, you can see what I did, you can tear it apart. Let's give it a listen.